Today I'm going to show you how to overhaul YouTube a little bit by adding some extra features, settings, and customizations. We'll also even add back the dislike counter that YouTube previously removed. So let's just get right into it. Okay, here we are on YouTube's homepage. I haven't done anything yet. So this is the basic version of YouTube on desktop, of course. First thing we're gonna do is add some buttons to the video player that give you more functionality than the default buttons available. So let me just click on a video. And as you can see here, we have all the default buttons in this lower section of the video. And we're gonna add some more stuff here. So first thing we gotta do, just open up a new tab, type in Chrome Web Store. And this is the website we want. In the top left, look up Enhancer for YouTube. It looks like this, so this is the exact plugin we need. Click on that, then in the top right, hit Add to Chrome. If you get a pop-up like this, just hit Add Extension. So a few tabs open up telling you how it works. You can go ahead and look through that if you want, but I'm gonna go back to my YouTube tab and you'll see all the buttons have already been added down here. But what I prefer to do is hit the options button and then in here go down to place controls within the video player right down here and below that there's a checkbox to keep the controls visible without having to click the uh, three dots button that's just a preference of mine so I keep that checked and just going back to YouTube you'll see now that they're all added right here so there's a bunch of buttons turned on by default and there's some that are turned off by default um, right now you have the loop button you have this little volume booster that really comes in handy sometimes when the uh, max volume just isn't good enough then we have a few extra buttons over here but let's go back to the settings tab that's opened up from here you could select which ones you want to keep and which ones you want to remove but this is all going to be personal preference for you so that's one key plugin that we want to have because it is really useful. Um, but beyond that, let's add the YouTube dislike counter back. As you can see, there's a dislike button, but you can't see how many dislikes the video has. So we're going to go back to the Chrome Web Store. You can just click Chrome Web Store up here to go back to the home page. This time we're going to search return YouTube dislike. And this top one's the one we want. Click on that. Click add the Chrome. Click add extension. And you can close out of this. I'm going to close out of these other tabs while we're at it. But let me give YouTube a refresh. And there you go. Now you can see that this video has three dislikes. And it's just like the way YouTube used to be. So after adding that, there's a little customization thing we could do. And once again, we're going back to the Chrome Web Store. This time we're going to search up Color Changer for YouTube. And it's this one right here, Maximum Color Changer for YouTube. Click on that. Once again, add to Chrome, add extension, back to YouTube. And right away, nothing's different. But if we go to this little puzzle icon in the top right where all your plugins are, you'll see the maximum color changer one right here. Just go ahead and left click on it. And here you can customize the colors of YouTube. All right, so I just set my colors to a bunch of random ones. I know it kind of looks ridiculous right now. But as you can see, the header color is this top bar here. I made that green. The sidebar is over here. It's all red now. And the content color changes the whole background to blue. If you want to, you could just mess around with the colors. If you want to go back to normal, you just hit the reset in the top right. And there you go. Now there's another cool customization we could do. So I'm going to open up the Chrome Web Store again. And this time we're searching custom progress bar for YouTube. It's going to be this one right here. Gonna hit add to Chrome, add extension, and go ahead and close the tabs that were opened. And we're gonna hit the puzzle icon in the top right again. And this time we'll left click on the custom progress bar plugin. So I'll show you guys what this does. I'm gonna pick this little Mario mushroom one. And after I clicked it, I'm gonna go and click on a video. Now, since I selected that Mario mushroom one, you'll notice it right down here. So as I progress through a video, now instead of the typical red circle that's uh, default, you can have your own little custom progress bar. But that's all I have for you today. So we got the enhancer that adds the extra buttons. We got the dislike counter back. We can change up the colors if we want of the website. And then we can have these cool little progress bars. So if you like the video, please like and definitely subscribe to this channel. I appreciate it.